Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this next sequence of videos, I'm going to be taking a look at what I regard as um, the top five uh, most often used um, financial functions in Excel. From my experience, we're looking at various um, clients over the years, uh, the future value, the present value, the payment function, the number of periods, and the rate function are just so, so very often used. And that's the purpose of these next uh, videos I'm going to be creating and uploading here to YouTube. Uh, I've got here uh, just a simple worksheet set up really with just text uh, indicating uh, the particular function and its syntax. So, for example, uh, the future value function, the FV function, takes a number of arguments. Um, some are required, and of course, some are optional. Let me get straight into it. So, the future value uh, function worksheet that I've got set up here, let me just control scroll wheel to zoom in to make it a little bit clearer for you guys. Okay, so let's have a look at this particular formula that I've created here to determine the future value based upon a number of arguments. Let me just have two on that. So, the first argument is the rate. I've divided by 12 because that interest rate that I've got on this particular worksheet is an annual interest rate. That will then match the number of periods, which is 36 months rather than three years, for example. I've got a monthly additional payment of £125, dollars, euros, whatever, and an initial investment of 2500 again, pounds, dollars, euros, uh, whatever currency you guys are using, of course. Uh, the type is zero, which indicates that uh, the payment is going to be at the end of the um, period. Okay, let's just start that whole thing from scratch. Let's build it from scratch. Let me delete that. So, equals FV. Press my tab key as per usual. Um, I've got my various arguments. Three are required, two are optional. I'm going to use them all. So, the rate is going to be 2.5% divided by 12 because I want a monthly interest rate. Comma separated, the number of periods is going to be three years or 36 months. Uh, comma separator, yeah, the additional payments I'm going to be making each month, 125, again, pounds, dollars, euros, whatever currency, of course, you guys are using. The initial investment, 2,500, uh, comma, the zero indicating here that um, it will be at the end of the period. Well, it's also really quite a useful technique. Uh, I think uh, when you're creating, using financial functions in Excel, you've got to think about your signs. So minus 125, for example, plus 36, for example, ultimately the future value will be a plus. If you're taking money out of your pocket, so I am taking uh, 125 pounds out of my pocket each month and giving it to whomever, that initial investment, I took it out of my pocket and I gave it to whomever, those of course are negatives. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of giving negative when you're taking, then it'll be a positive value. I just press my return key on that and apparently with those variables, so an, an annual interest rate of 2.5%, 36 months, an additional monthly payment of 125, uh, on top of my initial investment of 2,500, then the future value um, will be 7,362.5. Yeah, so that is the future value, that's the money effectively I will get after 36 months, three years of course, with those various other variables taken into account. That's it from me, Mark Davis, um, and the future value function, guys. Uh, do look out for various other financial functions that I'm going to be uh, creating video videos for in a little while. We'll do the present value function, the payment function, the number of periods, and the rate function as well. I'll leave you with that. Let me click and F2. The future value function in Excel. Perhaps one of the top five financial functions. Again, as I say, that's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Take care and bye-bye.